So for this tutorial, I'm using Visual Studio Code and we will be using only one file and this will be the index.html and let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see, I don't know whether this is too much but it will be easier to see on mobile devices, I guess. So this is, uh, this is where we'll be adding pretty much everything in terms of we won't be writing any CSS so we're just going to do a little bit of JavaScript and that's why I'm not going to be creating another JS file but you can do that if you wish. So let's start by writing the HTML quickly and I'm just going to be using the Emit abbreviation here and I'm going to select HTML5. Then let's change the title to YouTube API and then inside here at the bottom I'm going to add the script tag and this is where we'll be writing our JavaScript. And then here at the top, let's name this document something like YouTube subscribers. And then we can create a div with the ID of um, sub count. And this is where we'll be adding the number of the subscriptions that we will take of the YouTube API. Let's see what we have first of all. If we go to the browser, as you can see, we just have YouTube, AP, um, YouTube subscribers and I will zoom in a little bit so you can see. And then we'll add the number. Let's now focus on the JavaScript and let's start with creating two variables. So the first variable is going to hold our YouTube key and the second variable is going to hold the YouTube username. So we can do const YouTube key and for now we'll have it empty, we'll get the YouTube key in a second and for the YouTube username we'll do the same and then we'll add the username here in a second. So actually let's go ahead and get the YouTube username. For this you can go to your YouTube channel, you can do www.youtube.com slash your YouTube channel name but this is not the actual ID that we need. If you click on videos the ID will be just be in between channels and vi videos. So let's copy this ID in here, from here. And we can paste the ID in here. So this is our YouTube ID. Now we need to register for the YouTube API key. And let's see how we can do that. So go to your browser and navigate to console.developers.google.com slash APIs slash library. If you don't have an account, obviously you have to create a new one. And then once you create an account, let's go and create a new project. To create a new project, you can click in here and then right here on the top right corner, you can just cl uh, click new project. And let's call this YouTube API. And then we can just click create. Now that we have this project created, it's going to take a second or two. Then the API that we need is the YouTube API. So let's search for YouTube. And the one that we need is YouTube Data API V3. And I've actually selected, I've actually selected the wrong project. So let me go back and click YouTube API. And as you can see, uh, we need to first of all enable this API. So let's do that. It will take a second to create the API for you. And then the next thing that we need to do is here on the right side of the screen, you will see create credentials. So let's click on that. And the first thing that we need to choose in here is YouTube Data API v3. Then we need to select Web Browser JavaScript and then we can just use public data. After we've done this, we need to click on this blue button. And then that will give us the credentials. So let's copy this for project, go back to Visual Studio Code and paste this in here. Let's save. And just before we continue with this, let me just uh, walk you through this uh, as well. We can click done. But also, if you wish to, you can actually restri restrict this API to be used on different platforms or from different APIs. Let me show you. 
So for example, when you click on your API, you can um, restrict this application to be used uh, just from specific API addresses, um, Android apps, iOS apps, and so on. At the moment, I don't want to restrict this API key. And after this video, I'm also going to be removing this API key. So you won't be able to actually use it. So let me save this and go back to our application and continue coding. Okay, so now we need to create the function that will go and grab the, the data. We can do this without the function, but let's uh, wrap it in a function just so uh, just in case you want to want to add more stuff and do more stuff to it. Now let's get the data from the YouTube API. And to do this, I'm just going to wrap everything in a function called get subscribers. So let's do let get subscribers. And this will be an arrow function. Okay. And now we're going to use the fetch API, which as a default uses the get method, which makes it very easy for us. So what we have to do is do fetch. And now we need to put the URL that we want to fetch. You can go to the to the console.developers.google.com and then you can literally go to your dashboard. And if you click in here, YouTube data API v3, and then try in API Explorer. This will give you all the documentation that you need. Uh, for example, we're going to be using this URL. We're going to be using the get method. And we're also going to be using the uh, channels here. And let's paste the URL. And then after this, as you saw, we can do channels. And I had to do a little bit more research to get the statistics, but you can have a look at the documentation in a little bit more details. And to do this, to do to get the statistics, all you have to do is do part equals statistics. And now we need to add the YouTube ID, or in this case, this is our YouTube username. And to do this, we can do dollar sign, curly bracket, and inside here, we can just pass the variable YouTube user. And now we have to pass the YouTube key as well. And to do this is and key equals dollar sign, curly bracket, and then YouTube key. Okay, we're done with this. The next thing that we need to do is finish or fetch. And uh, because it's kind of hard to see, I'm going to indent this back slightly like this. And now we need to do then so we can get a uh, response. And we can do return response. And the response is going to be JSON. And then we need to grab the data. And now we can literally do anything we like with this data uh, object. So first of all, let's see whether this all this worked. And to test this, we can simply console log the data. And obviously this is not going to work because we have not called this function yet. So let's do that below. Get subscribers and let's have a look whether we get any data from the API. If you go back to the browser and click and right click inspect the element, then you can do console. And then I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see. I don't know if you can see now, uh, but this brings a, this brings a JSON object for, for us. And inside this object, we get an items array. And if I click in, in this to expand it, we get another object. And inside this object is actually all the data that we need. So uh, this is where the statistics are. So let's expand the statistics. And basically, you can get from here, you can get comment count, hidden subscriber count, uh, subscribe, subscribe count, video count, and view count. So for this tutorial, let's simply grab the subscriber count. And I'm going to copy this actually. 
And so we just need to go down this tree and then output this. Let's go back to our editor. Now let's select this div so we can insert the YouTube subscriber count. And to do this, let's create a variable in here, const, and let's call it subcount. And the subcount will be equals document dot get element by ID. And the ID is obviously subcount. Now we can use this variable to actually insert to insert the data. And to do this, uh, we can go in here and we can do uh, subcount dot inner HTML. And the inner HTML will be equals data. And now we need to go down the tree as I showed you earlier. And the tree goes something like this, data items. We need to select the first object. Then we need to go down to statistics. And then we need to go down to subscribers, subscriber count. Okay. So let's save this. And as you can see, we are now getting the YouTube subscriber count in here, which is exactly what we wanted. And just to show you how the tree worked, uh, so we selected the object, then we went to items, then we went to the first object, then we went to statistics, and then we went to subscriber count, just like this. And that's it. And that's everything from this tutorial. Of course, you can do a set interval to listen for new subscribers if you like, and so on. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.